as we can see here. Companies whose deposits in Silicon Valley Bank were just free. Now that you can see, this was a government bailout as SVB. Wasn't anything other than a bailout. And these are the companies that got bailed out because they held their money in the bank above the $250,000 threshold that the FDIC covers. Where you and I, the small guy, we're never going to get bailed out. The regional banks, if it was a regional bank, say, uh, all the banks in Nebraska, would they have been able to get, get that bailout? Uh, the tech companies got the bailout, though, because they're in bed with the Democratic Party, of course, as we all know. If you don't know, now you know. And they're some of the biggest contributors to the Democratic Party and their allies. When Silicon Valley Bank collapsed following a run on deposits, many of its clients scrambled to compensate after being cut off. Firms that disclosed how much money they had in the bank when it fell out listed below. Sarah Zaruku fell on March 10 after the streaming platform provider said in a securities filing that it had approximately $487 million held at SVB, or 26% of its $1.9 billion cash position. So there's one bailout, one company that received the bailout. I know they're very uh, happy about that. Jubilated and elated. <laughs> Those firms were locked up when the bank failed, but the firms should get access to them again as a result of Sunday's decision by the Federal Reserve and other regulators to make whole uninsured depositors at Silicon Valley Bank and another bank that was taken over Sunday. That signature bank in New York that was taken over. So, what are your thoughts? What are your opinions about this uh, freeing up of capital? Uh, would you like to have your money freed up if it's, uh, the bank make bad decisions that you put your money in? How about you? Would you like your money to be freed up? I know I would. I would just like not to be prosecuted for anything that I do now. Uh, just because we give a forgiveness everywhere. <laughs> so if you give a forgiveness everywhere, so forgive everyone of all the banking uh, scams that these people pull, the PPP people, all of these. So you can put money in the bank, uh, hundreds of millions, and if the bank, for some reason, mismanages that 400, 500 million, the government comes along with a little bit of quantitative easing and say, hey, we'll make you whole. They don't even look into see how they lost the money. That's the killing part there. They didn't even look into see how they lost the money. Or was there some improprieties that were taking place at that particular bank? They just immediately bailed the bank out. Wow. That's amazing, isn't it? I would like to have the same exact bailout when, when and if it ever happens. How about you? Wouldn't you like the same thing? The same courtesy? The same uh, trust that the government has put into SVB Bank? Uh, I would love to have that on its face without any scrutiny. So here's the list. Let's go down real cool. 26% of its cash, $487 million. iRhythm Technologies, $54 million. Encore is Build Holdings. This just list goes on and on. And as I scroll down, Vimeo, less than $250,000. They were covered by FDIC anyway. Lending Club, $21 million. Shattuck Labs, $2.3 million. Repair Therapeutics, six million eight hundred seventy-eight thousand. Kohu, twelve point three hundred, twelve million three hundred thousand. 
Roblox, 150 million. Digi International, 2 million. So it goes on and on, as you can see. It's a wonderful bailout for that particular bank and the other bank in New York, Signature Bank. I can't wait to get my bailout when times come through my mismanagement of my money. <laughs> Since we, we bailing people out, I definitely want my bailout too. So that's it. Subscribe, like, share to the Church of Money. And we're back.